Do you ever feel that writer's block when it comes to posting content on social media? Does it stress you out and leave you sitting, staring at the screen? Well, if so, then you need a content planner to plan all of your social media posts. Creating your own content planner is probably a lot easier than you think, and you'll be glad you did because it will really help you keep on top of the social media posting. Creating a content planner is actually super easy in Canva. Using the tables is the quickest and easiest way to create this planner. I've already opened my artboard to my favorite 8.5 by 11 inch size. And as always, you can create your content planner in whatever size you prefer to work with. So we're going to start by going to the elements tab and scroll down to the bottom where you see tables. And we're just gonna add this one. This table is going to be what I call the header table. This is where our titles are going to go. Now we need seven columns or however many columns for each day of the week that you post content. So if you post content three days a week, you need three columns. If you post content every day of the week, you need seven. So to get started and add our columns, we're gonna click on this button here and we're gonna choose add a column. And we're going to repeat that process until we have our seven columns. We only need two rows. So to delete a row, I selected on this block on the bottom row, I'm gonna click this button and I'm gonna select delete row. And I'm gonna repeat the same process for this row. So now we have our seven columns and our two rows. I'm gonna pull this to the top. I'm gonna to make sure to leave room for a title and I think about there is good. And then I'm gonna to go to this sidebar and I'm gonna pull this to the other side of the page so that I have room. So now I'm gonna to go to this button on the side and select it. This menu opens and I'm going to select size columns equally. So now I have my header table. And what I do is on the top row, I put my content pillar. And a content pillar is basically the type of content that you're posting. For Monday, I do mindset and motivation. For Tuesday, I do what I call teachable Tuesday. So it's really an education type of pillar. And then on Wednesdays, I post about my video. Thursday is what I consider my news day or some type of stats. Friday is all about Canva fun. And then Saturday is behind the scenes slash family. On this row, I'm going to put the names of the day in each block. So Monday. So I only typically post on Sunday if it's a holiday. So now we have our header table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over and I'm going to add a second table, same kind. And this time I'm gonna show you a shortcut to add columns and rows. All you do is just click on the box, right click, add column, add column. And then you wanna count and make sure you have enough rows. So one, two, three, four. We do need one more row because some months have five weeks. Now we're going to grab each side at the little bar we're gonna pull it out to be the same size as the header table. And then we'll grab the top row and we're gonna pull it up so that it's right at the bottom of the header table. And we'll pull this one down to the bottom. Then we're gonna click on this button, size columns equally. Then we'll go to this button and we're going to size rows equally. And there's the basic content planner. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button subscribe and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. Now it's time to make it pretty. So I'm going to add a background and to do that I'm just going to add the element I'm going to use. I will right click and set image as background. I have to have a blank background here. So what I'll do is I'll go back to elements and I'm going to choose a square. I'll grab the square, pull it up to the top left corner and I'm gonna stretch it out to the same size 
as my tables. And then you can make it whatever color you want. I prefer white, so I'll change the color to white, and then I'm going to right click and send to back. Now we'll go to the text box and we will add a subheading and type in the title and voila, you have a content planner. It was that quick and easy. I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful. Please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. You'll also find a link in the description to get on the wait list for my new Design Boss Academy Canva courses. These are going to be in-depth Canva courses to learn it all with different class options available as well. You don't want to miss this, so be sure to get on the wait list now. And of course, I'll leave the link for the free 30-day trial of Canva Pro, which I highly recommend if you don't already have it. You'll also find a link to my 223 Canva Elements Keywords eBook to help you find some amazing hidden elements in Canva. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, make it a wonderful week and enjoy your Canva.